Good afternoon, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the third annual or the third of this year DCT, Department of Culture and Tourism Experience Abu Dhabi webinar. I am pleased and very, very ecstatic to have to be with you all today and to be presenting our webinar. Key element and the key theme for the webinar for today is student groups in Abu Dhabi. It's a topic that we're all very, very excited about. It's a topic that is a growing topic in the market and it's something we're really looking forward to. Before we start, a couple of quick house, housekeeping announcements rather. Number one, please use the chat tab. There's a chat tab on the right hand side of your screen. Please use that to ask as many questions as you want. The whole idea of the webinar is for it to be as interactive as possible. So please ask questions. Number two, we're not expecting any IT challenges, but if there is your screen freezes, we freeze, or you can't hear us, please use the, please refresh your browser window. You'll come back to this page, which should work. So I'm Nikhil Jeet. I'm the country manager for DCT Abu Dhabi based in uh, India. So mice, leisure, student traffic, marketing, PR, all can, comes under my remit. I want you to today take three or four things away from this webinar. Just two or three things. Number one, Abu Dhabi is not a day destination. It is a three night, four night, seven night, eight night destination. Talking about student groups and student experiences, we have recently confirmed 2000 students coming to India, coming to Abu Dhabi from India, and they are staying for a minimum of six nights each. That is so much to do in Abu Dhabi. It's something we're very excited about. It's something we're very proud about. And we really want to talk about this more and we really want to promote this more and more so that you, your clients, students can come and experience Abu Dhabi. Secondly, Abu Dhabi is not expensive. We have 35,000 rooms. So if for you, it is a matter of finding the right room, nothing else. And finally, Abu Dhabi is changing. In the last year, we've opened SeaWorld, we opened Snow Abu Dhabi, we opened Abrahamic Finally House. We're opening the Zayed National Museum next year. We're opening Team Lab Phenomena Abu Dhabi. We're opening the Guggenheim. We're opening museums, Natural History Museum. We're opening so much. It is changing. So if you come this year and you come back next year, it is going to completely change. And that's what I wanted to take away. We have a very exciting list of panelists today. We've got Sumit, who leads Miral Destinations based in North India. We've got Sachin Kohli from Rotana Hotels. We'll talk to you about the exciting offers. And we've got uh, Ganisht from uh, Cosmo Travel, who'll again talk to you about a DMC handling student groups as we speak, and is excited to talk to you about that. Like I said, this is a very exciting time because we have got approximately, I would say in the last month, we've got about inquiries for 10,000 students visiting Abu Dhabi. This is why this webinar is so topical and important for you to learn. So as I introduce, I lead the India market. Jishnu, um, whose photos on the screen with me, is the trade marketing head. We've also got Ashish, Deepa, and Nikhil Kuri. They are based in Delhi, Bangalore, and Mumbai, and look after the North, South, and the West regions, respectively. Please reach out to them. If you have any queries, you can always reach out to me, and you can always, obviously, reach out to Jishnu uh, and any other team as well. So before we start, I want to show you a quick video and our brand new video. Quick brand new video about Ranveer Singh in Abu Dhabi and our winter campaign. So play the video now. Thanks, Pa. I wish you were here this winter. It's really pleasant. Hmm? No! Gotcha. What loan? Hmm? Tuxedo. Come to daddy. We have eyes on cargo. I'm coming. Shukran. Are you enjoying your winter in Abu Dhabi? <laughs> it's the best ever. Oi, Topi. You can see from them, that's our new campaign. It features a very, I would say, familiar face to the India market in Ranveer Singh, and it's something we're very, very excited excited about. 
So what we're going to talk to about getting around experiences, resorts, destinations, Miral destinations, Rotana, Cosmo, and then we talk about some Q&A itineraries. So getting around, I think the key point here is that Abu Dhabi has 15 direct flights from 15 key cities in India. And we've got new connections from Chennai, Lucknow, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, and many more. We've got direct flights from Etihad, Indigo, Air Arabia, Bistara, Air India, uh, Air Asia, etc., and more and more launching. And you've got 50 k seat capacity on a weekly basis. That's how popular and how easy to connect is. I think the key here is also that Dubai Airport and Sharjah Airport are only 90 minutes from Abu Dhabi. So you know, don't limit yourself to landing in Abu Dhabi. Feel free to land in uh, Dubai and drive down to Abu Dhabi. Land in Sharjah and drive down to Abu Dhabi. You know, in Delhi or in Mumbai when we, and in Bangalore, in fact, when we land in the airport, it's about the city is one, one and a half hours away. It's the same thing. So feel free to land in any of the airports and utilize those airports to travel to Abu Dhabi. Visas, very easy to get a visa. It takes three to four working days for a visa. The key thing here is that if you're under 18 and you're accompanied by, if your kid's traveling in the summer months, the visa is free or you get visa free for kids as well. Otherwise, any DMC or VFS can process your visa. For people traveling who have a valid US visa, you can get a visa on arrival for 100 dirhams. And that is when you land, you'll get the visa on arrival. I, I really love this slide because it tells, tells me one thing. 87% of the landmass of the UAE is Abu Dhabi. You know, you looked at, you think of Dubai, you think of Sharjah, you think of UAE. No, Abu Dhabi is UAE. The area in the red is the... Abu Dhabi city region, which is the central region, which has got Yas Island, Corniche, Sadiat Island, Jubail Island, all of that. You've got the area in the green, which is the Alain, which is the cradle of starting of life in the UAE. And you've got Liva or the Al Dafra region, which is in the orange, which is where desert meets the sea. This is Abu Dhabi. 87% of the UAE is Abu Dhabi. So let's talk about some student experiences and some student groups and what they can do in Abu Dhabi. So I think Qasr al-Watan is one of my favorite experiences in Abu Dhabi. It is a presidential palace and it is by far one of the most stunning experiences. The last time I went to Abu Dhabi, one of the on the fam trip, one of the agents said that this Qasr al-Watan has left back Taj Mahal as well. It is that stunning. It is that beautiful. It is a working palace, so the rulers work there. They don't live there, they work there. It's a working palace. It's open uh, Monday or it's open every day of the week and they have a light show on Thursday to Saturday. You were Qasr al Hassan, which is where life or the rulers used to live. It's there. Um, it's where some of the royal family was born. It is one of the oldest and most significant buildings in the UAE and home to the ruling family. In 2018, it was changed into museum. And it's called the House of Artisans. So it teaches you about the culture of the UAE, how to make coffee, the Arabic coffee, the Beit al Gawa, what about the handicrafts and culture. And it's absolutely beautiful and fantastic. It's free admission to guests under the age of 18. So very applicable for student groups and uh, student experiences. You got Louvre Abu Dhabi, which is, it is more than an experience, it is more than a museum, it is an experience. It is being under the dome, it is absolutely serene. It is peaceful. They've got new zones, new exhibitions to explore. But most importantly, being under the dome itself is an experience. It is not a museum, like a traditional museum. It's got a piece of earth. It's got a piece of every country. And it's one of the most relaxing and serene experiences in the, in the world. Again, free admission to kids under the age of 18. So for all your student groups, when you are working on a budget, Qasr al Hussain, Qas Lou Abu Dhabi, all free admission for kids. You've got the Grand Mosque, which is obviously free admission for everyone, but it is one of the largest mosques in the world. It is one of the most iconic images of Abu Dhabi, and it has got the largest handmade carpet in the world in the central dome. Please make sure if you are traveling to Abu Dhabi, you visit the Grand Mosque. It is a very good learning experience. It gets 55,000 worshippers a day and it's got 82 marble domes. That is how beautiful it is and it's something you must see when you're in, in the UAE. You've got Jubail Mangrove Park and it is a 
self-contained educational and leisure and nature park in Abu Dhabi. It is a, it's got, you can learn about the mangroves, you can learn about the ecosystem, you can see some wildlife there. And it's really one of the most stunning experiences you just walk through. You can do kayaking there as well. But even if you just want to walk through the uh, zones, you can do that as well. Snow Abu Dhabi, it opened up just this year in June. It is located in Reem Mall and it is the largest snow park in the world. You've got 12, 12 exhilarating rides and 17 attractions. So really it's something that I would recommend for everyone. You know, you will forget about all the other snow parks in the world, Snow Dubai, everything you'll forget about it. It's brand new, it's cutting edge, it's modern and it is the largest ever. And it's really fantastic for you to witness. You've got National Aquarium, which was opened in 2021. It has got 46,000 animals across 10 zones. And it's a very simple aquarium. You walk through, you experience the wildlife. You can even do some animal in encounters. You can feed the fish. You can swim with the sharks and the stingrays. And you can go on a glass bottom tour as well. Again, a really good experience for students, for kids, for them to explore. You've then got the Emirates National Auto Museum, which is a 45-minute drive from Abu Dhabi. It has got 200 cars, and it's owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan Al Nayan. You've got some very unique cars there. A car, you know, shaped like a globe, which you can see in the upper image on the bottom right-hand side of the upper image. And you've got one of the largest private collections of off-road vehicles, Mercedes, Ferraris, all their own personal 200 cars. So it's something that, you know, kids, boys, young kids would love to explore and walk through. So let me show you a quick video on Alain and then we go to the next uh, part. Why do we escape? For peace? A change of pace? Or is it for something more? An escape is a chance to seek shelter from the monotony of every day. A chance to explore. To be inspired. A chance to see calm and excitement. And find them both. Here. An escape is what you make of it. Find your escape. Alain, a living oasis. From the Alain region in Abu Dhabi, and nicely follows on from the Alain region. That's a new region in Abu Dhabi we're promoting. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it has been, the inhabitants of there have been from 4,000 years ago. Alain was the original birthplace of the ruling family of the UAE and Abu Dhabi. It is free to enter. It is one of the most stunning museum, stunning natural landscapes in the world. And something, again, that I would highly recommend for you as well. All of this Al Jahili fort, which is also located in Alain region, it is one of the largest forts in the UAE. And it was built by the Sheikh Zayed Bill. Khalifa Al Nayan, who's it was also the home of the ruling family. Free, again, free admission. And when you travel with your student groups, when you travel with kids, it is important that you teach them the culture, the let them experience the culture of this area. And that's what Al Jahili Ford and the Alain region will give you. You got the Alain Zoo, which is the largest zoo of its kind in the Middle East. I love this photo because it shows you that. Even in the Middle East, you've got African type annual safari. You can go in these jeeps. You can feed the giraffes. You can really drive around and see animals in their own natural habitat. That is why this slide is so image I love so much. So you can really experience an African type safari, a Kenyan type safari in, in Abu Dhabi itself. And then you've got Alain, which is the has got other world. UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the Oasis, the Hilly Archaeological Park, the Jabal Hafi tombs, which are featured, and the Oasis as well. So it's really packed with culture, packed with attractions that you can see. I'm lovely. I've seen some 
lovely questions coming in. So, Tanpal, yes, we will send you the slide deck after, so you can do not have to take screenshots. We will send the slide deck to you after as well. Showing you some Emirati experiences now, and I think it's very important to learn the culture of a country or the destination you're visiting. So we've organized or we can help organize for your student groups, for your kids, for your student experiences, Emirati experiences. So they can discover local dates in a fish market. They can discover local dates. They can go to a fish market. They can go to a ranch with Emirati. They can go to Emirati's local house experience for a meal experience or for a breakfast experience. They can go for an urban treasure tour with Emirati. I think, you know, we get, in, when we go to the UAE, we see the hotels, the shopping malls, the attractions, but really UAE is made up of its people. And those are the Emirati experiences that we want you and your students and your groups and your clients to witness. And lovely Emirati experiences is something you can really push and stand out from the crowd on. Indian dining options, you've got lots of dining options. You know, within the city, you've got um, Namak, you've got the First Street, you've got um, Pepper Mill in Yas Island, you've got Asha's, the Soighar, Rangoli, and Alain as well, you've got Coriander, Tanjore. So food is, Indian food, other food options is never a struggle in Abu Dhabi. You've got culinary experiences. So we had the Michelin Guide Abu Dhabi, which had 42 selections. So you can visit any of those restaurants. You know, you can do Hakasan, you can go to Talia, you can do 99 Sushi Bar. Loads of food options for you to witness in Abu Dhabi. Now, let me show you a quick video uh, on our new winter campaign. So, and I hope you really enjoy this video uh, because it's been freshly, you know, shown for you today, essentially. Or it only came out this week, but hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you on the flip side. because it shows you what all there is to do in Abu Dhabi in the winter. It is the best time to visit Abu Dhabi and it's something I would highly recommend. The experiences are fantastic and our videos is a small glimpse of everything you can do. Good hotels and resorts in Abu Dhabi and I'll quickly talk you through some of them. But before I'll show you the Emirates Palace video which is an architectural marvel. So even with students you can do cold coffee experience there or you can just take them to see and walk through and enjoy the architectural marvel that is Emirates Palace Hotel. Uh, play the video for you now. Like I said, the, the hotel is an architectural marvel, something you should experience. Uh, it, it is out of a fairy tale book, the hotel. It's got 114 domes, 
It's set in 100 hectares of garden. It's got a 1.3 kilometer private beach and has 1,002 chandeliers, the largest being two and a half tons. That is how stunning and beautiful the hotel is. Warner Brothers, which is the only Warner Brothers hotel, Curio Collection hotel in the world. It is based in Abu Dhabi, right opposite Warner Brothers World. You can get the, both the hotels has a kids pool, which has got a cinema or a pool cinema, which shows live cartoons and movies. And it's got an adults pool, which shows live movies and live um, cinema as well. You've got iconic, like the iconic sets, like the Friends TV show, the Batmobile, etc. And you've really got next door free access to one of those world theme parks. So for every night you spend in the hotel, you get one free ticket to a theme park as part of the uh, package included in the hotel. We've got W Abu Dhabi Yas Island, which is an iconic property. It's one of the only hotels in the world built on top of an F1 racetrack. And it's really iconic for any clients, couples, students to stay there. To, as you can, you know, you can have trackside brunch. You can see the cars racing past in the morning. You know, wonderful experience to see. Earth Abu Dhabi uh, only recently opened up and it offers a range of indoor and outdoor facilities. You know, it's got 58,000 square kilometer fitness center. It's got an eight lane Olympic size pool. Uh, it's located five minutes from the mosque with beautiful views of the mosque. And it's got a beach with football pitches, gymnastics, squash, tennis. So all the activities students uh, and they might want to do in Abu Dhabi. We've got La Yas Plaza Hotels, like I said, which is based on Yas Island. And it's a it's it's a combination of six properties from Crown Plaza to Stavridge Suites to Radisson to Park Inn uh, to Rotana, etc. Uh, lots of hotels, lots of options, lots of kid-friendly options. They all have pools. It's overlooking a golf course as well. In Abu Dhabi city, you know, and, and this is why I said we've got 35,000 hotel rooms, 170 hotels. So in the luxury category, you've got Conrad, you've got Emirates Palace, you've got Babar Qasar, you've got St. Regis. In the five-star category, you know, you've got the Sheraton, the Dusit Thani, the Sofitel, the Rosewood. Uh, on Abu Dhabi Islands, you've got Sadiat Island, which is luxury, which has got Rixos, Park Hyatt, Jumeirah, St. Regis. You've got Yas Island, which has the Yas Plaza hotels. The Hilton Yas Island, which you can see the image on the bottom right. W, lots of hotel options. Uh, you've got Alain, you've got Grand Mercure, you've got Aloft, you've got Isla, you've got One to One. In the resorts, you've got Alain Rotana, you've got uh, Telal Resort, you've got Radisson Blue. Just so many hotel options in Abu Dhabi as well. So now talking about some of the new attractions coming up. Surf Abu Dhabi which is the largest man-made wave pool in the world, is opening up towards the end of 2023 on Hudriyat Island. And it's something that, you know, you can enjoy surfing, you can enjoy the pool, uh, and it's opening up so something really to keep your eyes on as well. Natural History Museum is also opening up next year, or 2025 rather. Uh, it is going to hope, it's going to house the T-Rex or a replica of the T-Rex, and you'll go through a nearly 13 billion year journey of Earth, time and space in, in the museum. Key events in Abu Dhabi, which is something you might be interested in. We've got the F1 Abu Dhabi Etihad Grand Prix. You've got the T10 League, which is again in November, which people enjoy a lot. You've got the Handicrafts Festival in Al Qatra. You've got Arijit Singh performing in concert in Etihad Arena. Um, you've got the International Food Exhibition. You've got Winterfest at Ferrari World. So many options for festivals and events in Abu Dhabi. Uh, you've got NBA, you've got UFC, you've got Disney on Ice, you've got Lion King, lots of musicals in Abu Dhabi as well. Uh, I'm seeing some lovely questions coming through. So thank you very much. Uh, I think one question is that, what is the budget for three-star hotels? Uh, like I said, Kushnur, you've got 35,000 hotel rooms. So you've got you know, a range of budgets off-season and on-season for three-star properties. If you are interested in any individual properties, uh, we can talk to you about it after. And Sachin from Rotana Hotels will also talk about pricing from his hotels. Um, we have, and I think Kushnur also asked about tourism dirhams. From this year, we have waived off tourism dirhams like Dubai. So Abu Dhabi will not charge any additional dirham or tourism dirham from the hotels when you stay in Abu Dhabi. So before I go to Miral, I've got a quick poll for you. So the poll should be coming up on your screen now. Um, so do take the second to answer your answer the poll as honestly uh, as honestly as possible. 
uh, it's something that helps us devise future strategies for you. Um, so the poll is that. So the poll is that what do you look for? What do you look for to offer in your school group itineraries? Theme parks, arts, culture experiences, fashion, architecture, culinary experiences. So like I said, please answer as honestly as possible. It does help us deliver our presentation or our um, projects for you in the future. So without a further ado, I will now also hand over to, to Miral. Uh, Sumit, if over to you now, if you want to start, please. Yeah, thank you, Nikhil. Thank you so much for organizing a lovely time with a uh, nice audience based uh, to listen to us. And uh, myself, Sumit, based in Delhi, taking care of uh, Miral. Uh, so Miral, who we are, basically, we are the extended arm to market Saadiyat Island and, ya and Yas Island in Abu Dhabi. At Miral, uh, we have uh, uh, Ferrari World, Yas Water Park, Warner Brothers World, Climb, Kasar Al Water. Not only this, uh, people can enjoy the Yas Beach, the Sea World, the newly uh, opened uh, indoor theme park. At the Ferrari World, uh, they can enjoy uh, over 42 rides and uh, one uh, famous, the world famous ride is the roller coaster, the fastest roller coaster. Then we have also the world's tallest uh, heart shaped loop at Ferrari World. Then we have uh, Yas Water Park, there uh, they can enjoy over 40 rides and attractions. That is the only region's 5D water cinema where you know one can or students or a kids can enjoy the water park wearing a uh, swimsuits that is another amazing uh, point to be you know added on the itinerary then warner brothers world there uh, we have uh, over 36 rides in attraction six immersive land and we are also working on one another so very soon we'll be launching one another land in the warner brothers world known as the harry potter there uh, as of now we have a uh, over 35 li live characters but soon it will be increased then climb that is the you know it is the uh i would say as of now the biggest indo skydiving tunnel in abu dhabi in the middle east i would say then uh, we have the tallest indo climbing wall too then kasar al -Batan, you have already elaborated more a good side of kasar al -Batan already so let's see uh, how we can you know show more about the ferrari world as the education program so for the children's uh, right from the grade three to seven the duration we can mark up uh, one hour and uh, you know in this uh, education program the kids the uh, you know one can know more uh, science uh, or about the costa lab uh, with the function of royal costa uh, mechanism and you know the imagination and what science was behind on then children can learn about the physics behind the machines and the power on our rides based in Ferrari world. Also, uh, it is the part of, uh, it can be a part of practical experience then divided into the teams uh, and they can, you know, build their own version of uh, miniature roller coaster there at the uh, lab too. So the group duration, the group size minimum should be the 25 and maximum to the 50. However, we can accommodate more as per the availability and we can, you know, organize the different schedule if the group coming with the bigger sizes. Moving on, uh, at the Yas Island, uh, you know, as uh, I would love to tell you that it is the only water park based on the Emirati theme. Uh, so there, children can learn the oldest version, like I would say the world's oldest and largest uh, pearl, as well as the tool of techniques used behind the park. Children can learn the history of pearl diving, and it's and it is also relevant to today's and gain insight into lo into the local culture and also uh, an insight into pearl diving tradition and its heritage to the culture of UAE. Uh, again, the program is for uh, the grade three to seven. Minimum 25 students will be required. And duration will be the same as we had in the Ferrari world, one hour, but you know can be uh, you know increased as per the requirements too. Moving on to the uh, Warner Brothers world, there uh, as of now we have a uh, live 35 characters for the childrens. 
but uh, as i said we are coming with the harry potter land very soon we'll be launching it and uh, uh, this here at the warner brothers world uh, the program consists of pre park in park and post park experiences and uh, you know they can learn about the unique immersive session for the children uh, uh, the, they they can uh, you know which can encourage creativity and simultaneously in positive mind with promotional teamwork presentation skills and confidence con confidence of uh, the children's going to be visited in and uh, you know at the warner brothers world again the program is an amusive way to uh, way for the students to work together to tell uh, the new 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 worthy story to their friends to their families after visiting there uh here the you know grade uh, second also can be the part of uh, the student program and that until 9 so here the children if you can say uh the the school going uh, i would say uh, uh, uh like uh, the students who has just started the school like grade 2 to until 9 grade 9 can enjoy the education session there in the warner brothers world climb i would say uh, before speaking about the climb i would like to run a short video i hope you're going to enjoy and you can learn more about this i hope you guys like the video so in the climb uh, we do not it, the climb is not limited up to the skydiving chamber the park is also facilitated with the tallest uh, climbing wall in the region and uh, here minimum uh, the group should be of minimum 6 students and maximum up to the 60 and uh, you know uh, they also can uh, the, the, there will be a program to train the, to be get trained and import and and import for the important techniques and master safety rules that will be improve their climbing skills uh, for the students are visiting in and students can get the benefit of learning a new sport activity which will be very uh, useful to get their you know enhance their physical activity and the physical knowledge on this and the destination climb is the only destination where we people or a kid can be introduced to a great world of sportive climbing and also they can know the signs of uh, the gravity of air like you know heavy air pressure pumps how they control themselves into the glass tunnel so abu dhabi yas island has a lot to do as you know uh, the kasar al watan uh, experience it also can be a most amazing uh, experience for the students because you know if the uh, not only the arena but at the arena at the designs of arena you know every design has its unique uh, uh, source of mind has been you know in, in behind that so uh, you know there we will be uh, uh, the teacher and the guide of the students through the place to learn about the architecture and objects dis displayed and their meaning if you see my screen on left side left side there are you know there are cubes there are tiles there are designs so there is a lot to learn more and here the the kasar al watan it's we have a library in kasar al watan where we have uh, almost 50000 books to know more on uh, the history of uh, abu dhabi and what we were decades back and how we are today what we are today and what we are you know trying to becoming in a near future so that's how it is amazing place to be visited uh next is the sea world would like to play small with you
somewhere There's more to see Down there waiting for me From frozen hearts to golden stars All over the world As uh, the video says, there's more to see. Yes, there is more to see. If you are getting the uh, point of the statement, there is more to see. Not only to see the water, the water animals, but there is a lot to see. I, you know, we proudly say at Sea World, as of yet, since the beginning, and as of yet, we proudly say we have rescued more than fifty thousand marine animals and to, you know, given back them to their normal life. So here at uh, Sea World. Uh, what 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 should I say or what should I not? Uh, there is lot to do. There is lot to explore. There is lot to experience. There is lot to learn. I would say the uh, students program the class, you know, to learn more on C. So starts with the KG and that goes up to the grade twelve students. There is no limit of I would say uh, 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 select a group size. We have many. We have. Uh, uh, amphitheater for almost 1800 with the size of uh, at 1800 uh, uh, people accommodate at one time if i talk about the park admission for two specially crafted for the school packages or uh, uh, kids uh, educative pro education program so it starts with the 89 195 and uh, with the meal or souvenir this goes to to maximum with the 215 80s Minimum booking we takes for a 15, 15 students and goes up to the 300 students and more as per the requirements. As I said, uh, at the sea, sea world, we have a lot to do. Uh, as I said, like near, it's been near, nearly 60 years of experience and we have rescued more than 50,000 marine animals back to their normal life. So, uh, you know, Mon we are open for the school backgrounds Monday and Wednesday, then Tuesday and Thursday. So, uh, right, uh, the, there is a program of, uh, this is the uh, the program I'm talking about at the, this is organized at the One Ocean only, as we have eight realms in the sea world. So this is the special crafted uh, packages uh, for the school uh, groups. And uh, it is a program for a two hours separately. Uh, not the entire sea world. Uh, we have a, a set itinerary. I guess the team will share you sh shortly after this uh, session. Then, uh, like I said, for the uh, one ocean. You've got uh, one minute left for yourself, please, sir. So please hurry up. Okay. So here at the one ocean program, I said, like I said on a last slide, we have a different program. We have uh, two classrooms there. Uh, the pra program uh, price is for the 6580 starts with the 15 uh, students and uh, we give uh, one uh, complimentary tickets on 15 students for uh, for that teacher or the group organizer thank you so much for more discussion i am available uh, just for a through through a phone only thank you nikhil for uh, giving us uh, a great time to share our uh, no problem thank you thank you uh sumit so thank without you. a further ado and i know we're running a time of time i'm going to invite on sachin kohli from rotana hotels sachin over to you to take forward thank you thank you nikhil thanks sumit and i must say that by looking at all these places i get very excited i have seen them all i am based out of uae uh but again like you said one time is not enough you know so good afternoon, Namaskar everyone. My name is Sachin. I am from Rotana Hotels and Resorts. Yeah, 
I will quickly take you to the what we have to offer pertaining to the student groups. Yeah, I'll quickly take you to the journey of the Rotana hotels. How many hotels do we have in Abu Dhabi and what do we have to offer? And but I'll spend more time afterwards to give you the unique selling points that how are we perfect fit for the student groups? Yeah, so. We as a company, we have got total 72 hotels operating worldwide. I'm sorry to interrupt. You want me to play a video first and then you want to carry on or you want to do it at the end? Yes, please. Yeah, that will be good. Absolutely. So if you have a technical issue with your video, Sachin, I'll uh, go back to the slides and I'll play it at the end. Sachin, if you want to carry on uh, with the video, uh, with your presentation, you're on mute and we'll do the video after. No issues at all. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So we have got total 72 operating hotels worldwide. Among that, 13 hotels, 1-3. 13 hotels are located in Abu Dhabi, which is a fabulous proposition because we have got almost 3,500 hotel rooms on these among these 13 hotel, different hotels. Hotels are different categories, a five star, four star, three star apartment, which I'll brief you in a while. Uh, we will have around 100 plus hotels in by next year. Yeah, we have got six sub brands under one Rotana group, which are these Rotana hotels and resorts, Arjan, these are the hotel apartments, Rehan, it's a dry brand without alcohol, Centro, which is a three star budget brand, Edge, which is the managed properties and residences, which are again the apartments. Then Rotana Hotels and Resorts, we have got all five star hotels fall under this category. And then Centro Hotels, these are three star budget brands, which fits for the, whether it's the student groups or for the corporate travelers, for the teachers, it's a perfect fit, fit keeping in mind the budget brand for us. Rehan, many, uh, like we have seen few uh, groups recently from Ahmedabad for students, they didn't want to have alcohol in the hotel. So this comes in a picture. We have got Khalidia Palace Rehan in Abu Dhabi, which is a non-alcoholic hotel. Then we have got Arjan. This is a very superb proposition for the student groups. I'll brief you more in a while. Arjan are the hotel apartment. These are studio room, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. So it helps a lot to reduce an overall cost for the group. What I mean is if you have a six students, eight students, so instead of taking three or four separate rooms, you can take them two or three bedroom apartments. These are the all state-of-the-art apartments with everyday housekeeping every there is a full kitchenette inside but because it's an apartment individual washrooms are there inside but it reduces the overall cost for a group as a package yeah and we have got quite a lot in abu dhabi with different range from the studio one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom uh, jishnu and uh, dct team and uh, nikhil they all have uh, details of that they can send you further or you can reach out to me regarding that then Edge, Edge is the managed hotels. We have currently got 10 hotels. Uh, these are the upscale hotels, which do not fall in the five star category, but in the budget category, but, but they are upscale hotels. Then residencies, these are again, all the apartment hotels uh, where we can share between two bedroom and three bedroom. Now in Abu Dhabi, as I told you, we have got 13 Rotana. These are the Rotana hotels. Yeah. I will not go touch base each and every one due to lack of time. Yeah, but maximum of them are five star. Few are Pearl Rotana is four star, Beach Rotana, Sadiat Rotana and Park Rotana are the five star. In fact, we have got a beautiful Indian restaurant in one of the uh, Rotana hotels, which is Beach Rotana. So Beach Rotana has got Indigo restaurant, which is an Indian restaurant. Yeah, it has got 800 plus rooms inventory. And then now I will directly start on the USPs, how we are perfect fit for the student groups. If you notice on your, this slide, we have got a lot of inventory for the uh, twin bedrooms. We have got almost 1000 plus twin rooms in the Abu Dhabi, of course, split into different Rotana hotels, yeah, which is again very helpful because maximum times we receive this request for the twin rooms to reduce cost. And I can assure you well in advance, if the arrival patterns are a little bit early, yeah, we can actually commit that we will give you this many number of twin rooms in the contract. Yeah. So, and then 
the best part is the apartments which i gave you little brief these are all hotels which have got apartments ranging from studio one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom yeah these are located at different locations of abu dhabi so it's very easily accessible you can club them all together as per the vicinity of the city very easily and then the next one i will sorry uh, other highlights is the room sizes among rotana hotels we have one of the biggest ch uh, chains for the in terms of the room sizes for example even though not apartments but for the room sizes for example park rotana it's a hotel which have got room sizes from 34 square meters and above we don't see this this much big rooms in many hotels in the world yeah then beach rotana has got 36 square meters onwards these are the minimum smallest room reason i am telling you we can put an extra beds and all this further reduces the cost plus we have got 13 rotana and they all are located at different locations of the city so even you have a group of 200 300 400 rooms we can easily absorb all of them at one hotel uh, i mean different hotels yeah uh, then on top of it, I will be your one point of contact for all Rotana hotels. So it makes life very easy for you and makes life very easy for us. Many times we are not able to accommodate X group at one hotel, but I can also suggest you always that it has the, I can suggest you in the other hotel. Then we have got in maximum Rotana hotels, we have got maximum inventory at one floor. What I mean is maximum times this request comes in that teachers want to stay on every floor with the kids yeah so in few rotana hotels we have got up to 40 rooms at one floor so we give uh, the corner room or the middle room for the teachers and then we split them over the students to the other uh, rooms in the same floor which helps quite a lot as a logistics movement yeah and then we have got collaboration with a lot of schools locally here and we have got a very strong collaboration with the Ministry of Education locally because they are also one of the clients uh, to us. Yeah. So if in case you need any assistance from our side for the collaboration for their school tours or the college tours along with the Ministry of Education and all, we can definitely DCT is always there very helpful. However, if you need guidance and all because they are our direct clients, so we can further help you pertaining to that. Last not the least, we have got also Rotana hotels and two Rotana hotels in Alain, which Nikhil touched up a while ago. It's a beautiful place. It is a very short drive from Abu Dhabi. It's a great drive, very calm, very serene. We have got two Rotana hotels in Alain, uh, which is Alain Rotana and Hilly Rehan by Rotana. Both are very affordable, beautiful hotels and all. So I can be your point, one point of contact for the Alain also. So as a combo of Abu Dhabi Alain, it works quite perfect for uh, overall as a destination as an Abu Dhabi. I think that's it from my side. If you have any queries, you can feel free to put it in the questionnaire in the Thank chat you. session or you can ask DCT later or myself. <laughs> Thank you, Sachin. And I love your little two minute walk through to Abu Dhabi and walk through to Rotana hotels. As promised, we'll show your video quickly and then I'll hand over to Cosmo. Done. Awesome. Thank you. mute if you're trying to talk Sachin. yes it's a treasure time and that's our promise to you thank you thank you Sachin. thank you Bye. so before i hand over to my next speaker i would like another poll to come up on your screen now um the poll is what is your recommended length of stay in abu dhabi for school groups please please pick one and this really helps us you know and i think the next dmc coming up will even use this information more really help you advise on what is the correct itinerary size for abu dhabi so Without further ado, I would now like to invite um, Ganesh from Cosmo Travel. Ganesh, over, over to you. And uh, please take, take this exciting world of student travel and student groups with Cosmo Travel forward. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you, Nikhil. And uh, thank you for having us here, for us to be able to make a representation for as to what we do. We are Cosmo Travel. 12 branches in UAE and a couple of offices in Abu Dhabi itself. We are a company which is owned by Air Arabia Group. 
So apparently the flights, the direct flights, uh, as you mentioned, we also share uh, a part of them flying to Abu Dhabi directly from a couple of cities from India, which I'll uh, share in my presentation. To all the partners who are there, I'll try not to sound repetitive because Nikhil uh, was like, you know, uh, uh, hands on with all the information which uh, the place has to offer. Maybe I'll try and make it interesting with some facts and also tell you as a DMC or a company, as I said, we are Air Arabia, so you can book flights with us. We do our own set of visas. So my office in Delhi, Bangalore, Bombay, we can help you facilitate all the visas in-house here. You've got Rotana to book for, you've got uh, Miral to book for, you've got all others for. But as a DMC, we stitch all this together and curate a bespoke itinerary for the specific requests for the age groups. And this we do because we specialize. We have a division called Beyond the Classroom. And uh, it is in there that uh, we do specific student travel with the uh, cultural exchanges, with the school exchange programs. I'll just play a video about uh, us as a DMC and the company that we are. to keep it short and crisp it's just about what all is there so uh, because most of the things have already been covered as such per se so I'll just try and uh, run you through a four nights of an itinerary specifically for uh, the student groups uh, that we do I'm just trying to get to the pictorial part of it all right, so uh, quickly coming on to certain things, we start with the, the flights that arrive with us, which is Air Arabia, landing at around 8 in the morning. The students uh, do the immigrations, collect the baggage, we drive them off to the hotel, do assist in early check-ins, where all was possible, and then they rest and relax. And the first day that we do is we do a guided city tour of Abu Dhabi, because uh, it is in there that it is their first introduction to the city. Abu Dhabi is both a city and an island, and they are both interconnected by some fabulous bridges which we drive through. So being a home to 200 nationalities, Abu Dhabi is my personal favorite because it used to be Zurich earlier known as the global city. But with the safest city tag in the world for Abu Dhabi, it is a must visit. And uh, students, especially when they come over, they will find it very, very interesting, both in terms of the modern architecture and a heritage city, which is a part of the city tour as well, where they showcase as to what the Bedouin culture it used to be. Abu Dhabi was uh, developed by a Japanese architect, and it was in 1967 that uh, he laid out a plan with Sheikh Zayed. And what you see today, like right now also on your screen, is Yas Marina Circuit. Yas, uh, incidentally, is the second largest man-made island in the world. So as I said, the first day you do the city tour, you do the heritage city, you do the Grand Mosque, which is the second largest. It has the largest carpet. I don't want to sound repetitive. So I'll make it uh, interesting in terms of just talking through the destination and the itinerary. So that's the city tour for you, heritage city. And with student groups, normally uh, school children prefer pizza, pasta or uh, Mexican, Italian or Burger King kind of uh, meals. So that is what we plan throughout the tour and maybe a couple of uh, Indian meals as in on the day when they ask for it. Yas Circuit is a part of the city tour that you visit for. Go-karting is an option in here. Now, as I said, what we do is Nikhil already has taken us through of all the activities which are available. I kind of had prepared this also, likewise offering what it is for. So for specific school requests for luxury groups like Pathways, I did myself. They wanted, they were like grown up children, so go karting was a feature with them. For the GD going cars that you may get queries for, or for uh, 
the manav rachnas that you may they may send a query to you for there are some interesting activities for different age groups luhur is again a part of the city tour coming over to uh, the sadia thailand this is a very very interesting place also for the children to visit for and it's being developed for is a part of our itinerary then we do the national museum and we do the sadia history this is alain and koishes that they spoke about now day 2 primarily is featuring the theme parks so ferrari world is a must visit with the largest roller coaster so that takes one of the day day 2 they can opt for depending upon what age group like in case they are into disney and shows you do warner brothers but the latest attraction for sea world is a must visit for any traveler so in a four nights itinerary two days we recommend to be done for the theme parks one of the days was for the city tour so these are this is a unique experience uh, we offer this to school children it's an underwater vr experience with on uh, the side of the technology so uh, a group of 20 odd students this is very much appreciated we did it for one of our groups there's the pearl diving experience at lal island the camels this is alain so uh, similar to what camelish does school children get to visit the camel park and they also get to uh, get the taste of the camel milk that's interesting kasaral watan was spoken of uh, by nikhil the activity that we showcase here inside the palace is when we do school groups to geneva and they visit united nations and they visit the rooms for the cold war rooms here in itself also like whenever there's a global convention or a conference being held uh, students do get to visit the room where the emirati hospitality which they lay off to the global leaders is on display this has to be booked for pre requested but it is an option to showcase the culture which we feature on the part of the largest desert there's an off road desert experience fourth day second half we do this uh, uh, and on one of the nights for all the astronomy related stargazing travel we do a lot of that from our company here we just recently had a super moon in uae which was uh, 30th and it was done by an astronomy center we had locals coming over and couple of groups by sent over by our oman office and our saudi office so here in the night is where we take children off for star observation we have in house amateur astronomers who speak about stargazing who help you do star photography we have telescopes that we carry and the facility also has one so in case you need to add a bit of science and astronomy to your itinerary this is what we do on one of the nights uh, in the tour uh just to speak on uh, one of a very interesting uh, aspect of the city for day 4 abu dhabi has uh, come up with a place called uh, mazda city and it is the world's first zero carbon zero waste car free city it's a very ambitious project the first residents have moved in and incidentally in november there is a cop 28 summit happening which is around environment and taking a cue from that itself this also mazda city is incidentally the headquarter for international renewable energy agency so the fourth day second half we keep it for mazda city fifth day with our flight connections they fly back that's technically four nights of uh, abu dhabi and in case there's a request to stretch it to dubai like with air arabia you can fly into abu dhabi fly out of sharjah uh, as nikhil said it's just uh, 90 minutes of a drive so we can, the last day we can uh, drive you through dubai take you to some shopping experiences and then finally drive you off from sharjah that's basically uh, uh, four nights of an itinerary that we recommend again coming back to you as a company we have the skill set know how and the acumen to handle student travel that is what we do from our other offices uh, in the gcc and from india as well we do a uh, lot of uh, post graduate tours for institutes where they need to do industry visits or they need to do a school or a student exchange program so for any of your specific requests you can always write in to me and uh, we look forward to serve you with the, the best of know how that we have thank you thank you very much nation very wonderful presentation um so before you know we get into the q and a session and the quiz and the exciting elements i've got a couple of uh, quick itineraries to show you so first and foremost what is there to do in abu dhabi so you know there is downtown area which you know we spoke in detail about which was kasal watan emirates palace national aquarium snow abu dhabi the mosque mazdar city 
um, the Modern Gallery, Al Sadim Astronomy. We've got Yas Island, which has got Sea World, Ferrari World, Klein, Warner Brothers World. You know, you can yeah, that, driving at Yas Marina Circuit. You've then got Sadiat Island, which is the cultural, which has got Louvre Abu Dhabi, which has got Manalat Al Sadiat, Abrahamic Family House, Al Mamshan Rai Island. And then you go to Alain, which has got the Oasis, Jahili Ford, Alain Zoo, um, you know, the Camel Farm, so much to do in Abu Dhabi. And that comes really nicely on to what can you do. So instead of doing a typical itinerary, I thought, you know, we would do a unique itinerary for you. So you've got an architectural and cultural tour, which can begin in Kassel Watson, Emirates Palace and Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. You can then on day two, you can do Kassel Hassan, you can do Al Qatara Sport Art Center and dinner. Day three, you can do Louvre, you can do Munarat al Sadiyat. And day four, you can do the National Library, you can do Bahat al Kamra, and you can do so much. This is just an architecture and cultural tour for you. You can go to Adneg, you can see the unique buildings being built there. And then you get to a five night itinerary, you know, which is just a typical itinerary that you can implement. So you've got everything from uh, exploring Ethiad Modern Art Gallery, Emirates Palace on day one, the Louvre, Kassal Watan, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque on day two. Day three is my Day four, Yas Islands, you can do Ferrari World, Climb, Sea World, Warner Brothers World. Day four, you can do the library, Sea World again, Al Qatara Sports Center. Day five is when you go to Alain. So you can do Jahili Ford, Oasis, Alain Zoo. You can do, uh, you can even go to Jabal Hafid, which is the highest mountain in the UAE. And then on day six, you can do Founders Memorial. You can do shopping, and there's so many shopping options in Abu Dhabi as well. So before we end off, I'd like a couple of Q&A session as well. And we have a quiz coming up. So we have exciting prizes and the quiz is on your screens now. So if you do come up, if you do answer the quiz or if you do answer the, use the quiz, please make sure you complete it. You've got some exciting, exciting prizes, including tickets for Warner Brothers World, including uh, stay vouchers for uh, from Rotana Hotels for Park Rotana and Pearl Rotana. And then you've got... Um, three Amazon gift vouchers from DCT Abu Dhabi. So do make sure you're filling in the quiz. I've also put a survey link in the chats tab now. Please complete the survey or you can scan the QR here, QR code here. So, you know, while you fill all the surveys and the quizzes, I thought I'll do a couple of quick Q&A session for the team as well. So um, I think we've got a couple of quick, you know, email as well. So I think first of all, um, for Sumit, Sumit, are you there? For you? Um, yeah. Please, could you give us some clarity on theme park tickets connected with resorts? There seems to be some little confusion on the chat step about which hotels offer which theme park tickets and, you know, which do not. So if you could please shed some light, light on that. So, okay. We have a different programs with the Yas Plaza hotels and a different program with the W and Hilton. As, uh, so we have, a, you know... Uh, a lot to uh, discuss on this and you want to have a detail in the same question please drop me an email or otherwise i have shared a quick itinerary for the specially crafted for the student groups is with the dct team i request you to send this across to the all the uh, all the uh, 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 participants here thank you so just um, as a reference um, uh, so as I said, yeah. default, if we do a webinar, we, if we do a, if we stay on Hilton, Yas Island and WB, we get free theme park tickets per night, right? Yes, correct, correct, correct. And then for other theme parks, you can, other hotels, you can talk through the Miral portal or through a DMC. You can yes. talk about, you can talk about packaging or you can talk about Independence Day. Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes. For the leisure, that is for the leisure. But yes, for the school groups, for the uh, education program, we have a set itinerary with the promotional, uh, I would say, uh, the theme park tickets and the different programs to do in the theme parks. That is uh, the crafted package. And I shall email to everyone is uh, present there in the webinar today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Nikhil. Uh, Sachin here from Rotana. Sorry, just to add, yes, we sir. also have, of course, Yas Island hotels have got the packages, but we as a Rotana hotels have also gone ahead and done the collaboration with the Miral. So if anyone is staying at any of the Rotana hotels, we also do the packages with the different theme parks already. Thank you. So I think in response to your query here, um, I think the key is speak to the hotel, speak to the DMC, speak to Miral to get the right package. There is a customized package out there or a tailored package for you out there. If you want theme parks, if you don't want theme parks, we're happy to offer that to you. Absolutely. 
thank you thank you sachin thank you sumit so sachin going on a quick question from you is how many students can you accommodate in your rooms in your hotels uh, you know pe people are quite interested in knowing room sizes are pretty big you have been in few rotana hotels um, we can easily accommodate up to 3 and in few we can easily accommodate 4 also in apartments we can go up to 8 plus 2 around 10 people very easily fantastic fantastic and uh, so, um, i guess this question is for um, both for yourself sachin and for ganesh um, do you when you are booking student travel do you include transfers from point a to point b in coaches child friendly etc can you organize that so ganesh i'll go first to you if you want to help answer some said light on that question Ganesh, are you there? I think we're having some challenges with Ganesh. No problem, Sachin. Do you any of your? No, I'm sorry. Uh, am I audible? I'm sorry, yes. I missed it. Yes, you're audible. Okay. See, uh, yeah, I just noticed. I'm sorry. Uh, we, as a company, we do end to end. Like you know, as I said, we'll stitch things together and give it to you. If the school in India needs a coach for the students to be collected from the school and brought to the airport in India. we do that as well so when they land up in abu dhabi there's a cosmo travel uh, in house uh, company official who greet meets and greets them because it's students so it's safety we have our own coaches our own office in abu dhabi our own set of contracted rates with like you know uh, the attractions that have to be there plus the suggested venues where they go and uh, they enjoy their meals so with all the transfers like obviously in case you're staying on the island the hotel offers the ticket so the hotel itself will offer you the transfer also which is a shuttle thank you um, thank you ganesh really appreciate it and um, sachin do some of your hotels offer transfers as as uh, as ganesh was saying yes It's absolutely i mean we yeah, have it takes our half hotels half. Yeah. sorry sorry go ahead Wo, so it's half an hour drive from the city to the island for the theme parks, and likewise when you come back. So the coaches. Uh, Ganesh, we lost you there. Sorry. Um, I think we're losing you, Ganesh. Sir. So I'll come back to you for that. So um, I think over to you for the timing, uh, Sachin. Over to you. Yes, we uh, do have the shuttle transfer between the definitely hotels and different attractions. These are the standard timings. They pick up in the morning and then they bring them on the certain tour. It's free. Uh, it is provided, in fact, by the government. It is very safe and all air conditioned uh, shuttles are there. And they give them enough time and bring it back definitely. And it's well connected to everywhere, whether it's to the island or to the city or to the Yas Island theme parks or to Sadia Thailand. it is accessible to all and it's free of cost transportation thank you sachin and ganesh anything for you to add uh, final words so i think you know that's it everyone thank you very much once again i do like to end this promptly and thank sorry for uh, you know taking up going over your time by a couple of minutes uh, i think the key here is miral rotana hotels abu dhabi tourism cosmo all all very very excited and happy to handle your student groups please make sure you reach out to us uh, please make sure you reach out to any of us on the panel on the group we are happy to connect with you for this uh, student group is a growing market for abu dhabi for abu dhabi tourism so please make sure you know you are reaching out to us uh, finally thank you very much for taking the time do complete the quiz in the survey we appreciate your continued support and once again thank you very much and speak to you soon bye bye everyone thank you thank you